Let's take a tour around the Bernina 570 Quilters Edition function buttons. So these are the ones that as you pick a stitch, you can do other things to this stitch. Now we're mostly going to focus on the ones that are on screen, but some of your other function buttons, the ones you use a lot are actually external buttons as well. So function buttons usually are found in the eye for information. Now let me give you a little hint before I go through some of these different uh, functions that you can do to stitches. Number one, when you have a stitch selected, only the functions that are available for that type of stitch will show up. So some of those functions might actually look a little grayed out. So that means that you aren't being um, over stimulated by functions that may not actually be associated with that technique. Also too, make sure that you slide your finger because there's more on this screen than just what is showing. These four here uh, do show up on every screen. So a reverse, a back stepping reverse that goes back in the exact same hole, which I love. Actually, this is permanent reverse. And then the save and unsave. So if let's say I've made some setting changes and this is the stitch length, a super long one, for example, that I sew with all the time. I can actually save that stitch. So that's my new default setting for that stitch when I turn it on. So I can customize this machine for every type of way I sew, which is gonna be different from the way you sew. And of course, by touching the unsave, it will clear it back to the machine's default settings. So what are we talking about in here? And again, you, if you don't use them often enough, then the question mark will be your best friend. Touch the question mark and then touch a function and it will remind you what it is for. What is that symbol actually referring to? For example, this is pattern repeat. We do use this with decorative stitches, but you can also use it with your straight stitch. So what you can do is you can say, I want it to repeat five times. So you could actually set it for how long you want it to stitch, and then it will sew five repeats and then stop. Again, great for decorative stitches, but you can do it with the sewing straight stitches too. All right, we can back up um, to that eye. So you can watch as I touch into these areas and touch different items. They will also appear yellow when they are active. So even if you don't have this screen open, if you see a yellow eye, you know something's been applied to that stitch. Now, if I go to a zigzag, then of course, I haven't done anything to that stitch yet, so nothing has been shown. Also, when I go back to a straight stitch, it remembers the last thing I did to it. That is amazing. They call that the temporary altered stitch memory. Now, there's a whole video we've done on that particular technique, so definitely check it out so you can really customize the machine for the way you sew. But if I touch that eye, go back in here, clear will clear out anything that you have added. Now you can add mirror image, you can add, so we could go, well, not on a straight stitch, but you can go left or right and also extend the pattern down. You can also record the length so it can be actually stitched once again at that same distance, so that's kind of fun. And then also the securing stitch. Down here we have the balance of the stitches, so if the forward and reverse stitching is not ideal, you uh, can actually adjust it. Because some fabrics like corduroy or stretchy fabrics like fleece uh, might need a little assistance. And then my favorite is actually, let's see, the actual name of this, triple stitch. It'll take any stitch that you have on screen and triple it. And that's how I get a lot of my stitches in our Bernina stitch Cosmos online course quilt to really stand out. So that is kind of fun there. So again, depending on which stitch you have selected, certain things are grayed out. Um, you see right here, there's kind of a, a, an indication of letters. So if I'm in the lettering area of my machine, then I can find here, I'll just go in here. I'm not even opening a memory, but I can definitely go in here and I can have like the capital version and then a shorter capital version. So that's what that one does. When I'm in buttonholes, I'll have different functions for buttonholes that will show up in the function area. So again, watch each of the 
uh, videos we've done on buttonholes and such, so you can really see how I use the function buttons. But just remember, if they are yellow, they are active or on or changed, and a push of clear can clear those out. Also, turning off the machine will clear it out unless you have used the permanent saved feature, and then those function buttons will stay active with each of the stitches you've applied it to. So I hope you'll explore some of the function buttons. We do a lot of that in that uh, Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course. We have you in and out of all these fun uh, things that can be applied to stitches to give you spectacular results. So if you are interested, check out the online course and over 10 videos that you can watch for free. You'll find all those links in the description below.